When the chairman of the world's biggest miner has something to say, investors listen. In his last letter to BHP Billiton shareholders, outgoing chairman Don Argus reassured investors that the resources giant is well-placed to navigate an uncertain economic outlook. But he warns the uncertainty created by potential tax reform here and overseas poses a real threat to investment. After a decade in the top job, Don Argus has penned his last letter to shareholders. He says we do remain cautious about the state of the global economy and note the recent International Monetary Fund report which highlighted the gap in growth between developed and developing economies. Leighton Holdings boss Wal King has slammed imported American chief executives, claiming they're paid too much and have no commitment to Australia. Speaking after Leighton's annual general meeting, Mr King seemed to be singling out former Telstra boss Sol Trujillo, who left Australia in May with a huge payout and some bitter parting words. Of any major listed company Never one Australia, to pull any punches, the 65-year-old Leighton boss made it abundantly clear where he's not looking for the person to eventually succeed him. All I can say to you is that it, it won't be any... A group of RHG investors are agitating for a board shake-up and have called for a general meeting to oust board member David Coe, the ex-ALCO chief. Led by the principals of online newsletter The Intelligent Investor, the dissident group have accused the board of not acting in the best interest of all shareholders. RHG is the mortgage portion of Ram's home loans that was not purchased by Westpac. The July 2007 listing of Ram's home loans was an unfortunately timed failure. Is that enough for your ex? Thank you very much. Just three weeks after the non-bank... Westpac has made a friendly takeover bid for St George Bank, ending three days of intense negotiations with the Target's board. The bank is offering 1.3 of its shares for every St George share in a deal worth nearly $19 billion. If it's successful, it'll create Australia's biggest bank with a market value of around $66 billion. Westpac Chief Executive Gail Kelly met with staff of the bank she plans to make Australia's biggest. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. 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 While the Westpac boss got a rock star welcome, the head of St George was more subdued. We've spent the uh, weekend evaluating it. Barrister John Sheehan produced personal notes taken by Dr Fell during the November 2007 board meeting, which was held by telephone hookup. Dr Fell recorded concerns by other board members around the Rubicon transaction, a company that Dr Fell founded. Your notes... Over the past 50 years, the RBA has floated the national currency and created an independent banking regulator. However, more recently, its decisions on setting cash rates have been crucial to the economy. This is the room where the all-important monetary policy decision is made. The Reserve Bank Governor he sits here and chairs the meeting that could last up to four hours. The meeting starts with a briefing from the bank's head of economics and financial markets, so all the board members are fully briefed on global and domestic economic conditions. Lateline Business understands for the past three months, the board and management of RHG have been considering their options beyond their non-compete arrangement they have with Westpac, which is due to expire in November next year. While Chairman John King... Business Hello and welcome to this special edition of Sky Business Report. Tonight we take a look at the boom state, Western Australia. Perth has recently been dubbed the country's corporate capital. It's now overtaken Sydney as home to the biggest number of ASX listed companies. You flagged that you're planning to increase your output uh, that's currently around 13,000 tonnes to nearly double up to 20,000 tonnes. How realistic a goal is that and when are you planning to rev things up? Well, I think it's, it's quite realistic because we can actually... You supply the Middle Eastern markets and Europe. Are you looking now more closely at China and uh, India? Our primary project is targeting the Arab world. Uh, in... The iron ore sector is continuing to deliver stellar results and that's on the back of China's insatiable demand for the resource. 
What are you expecting from the sector? Yeah, I, I think the iron ore, uh, and even your, you know, if you can. Now, will Seven seek a board seat, or in fact, will you offer them one because you are looking for new directors? Well, we haven't made that decision yet, but clearly we don't appoint directors.